Guys, AMC's looking super bullish. Check out this chart. Before we begin, I am not a financial advisor. It is not financial advice and it is for entertainment purposes only. Alright guys, so we're on a one hour chart here. I just wanted to show you some confluence that I found here over the weekend. Some very interesting things stood out to me. Now if we turn on our volume over this time period of the breakout that occurred over the last couple of weeks, we have a point of control at about $4.75. And you will notice that there is some support here in the past before we broke out on this massive run. So that's an interesting area to keep an eye on for support if AMC does continue to the downside here over the week. However, if we turn on our moving averages, we actually have touched the 200 day moving average now. And that could act as support here. That would be over a longer time frame, but the move certainly is heading in that direction at the moment. Okay, guys. We will just have to see what happens on Monday. <clears throat> All right. So now if we right click here and we go to our lines, and we turn on this one right here, the average close price line. That's going to bring up the average candle close over this breakout period. We can see that's at $7.65 about, okay? Now, there's confluence here. That alone doesn't mean much to me. Uh, it's not enough to just act on only that information. However, if we throw a fib Fibonacci retracement on here from our high point to our low point of this breakout, and this is just an estimate, it doesn't have to be perfect. Look at this, guys. Go right up to about the candle close here. Make this our high point, our one level, zero from the start of the breakout. And look where our 236 point is, okay? Almost exactly uh, at our average, our average candle close price line if that's not confluence i don't know what it is and you also have candles closing here and some more support acting down in this area very interesting it's looking bullish at <laughs> already we're already looking bullish guys but we got some more for you we're not done yet we're not done yet let me clear up the chart real quick. All right. Check this pattern out that I'm seeing. What does that look like? Mm-hmm. I'm seeing a massive bull flag, right? We got our pole, our flag pole, and our flag. Bull flags tend to break out the upside. And we can see if we zoom in, this may have broken out already here. 
that may be a, considered a breakout as far as I'm concerned. If we continue to build support and hang around in this area above $6, then I would call that a confirmed breakout going into next week as We do have price targets, entries, stop losses on our Patreon if you want to join our Discord for this trade. I, I anticipate a lot of price action going into Monday and later this week. So lastly, if we go to our RSI indicator. I'm going to draw a trend line. You can see all the touch points here. One, maybe even two, three, four, five. And an uptrend is beginning. Very interesting. This may continue. We've been oversold here down to 29 ish area. That's pretty oversold. So there's a high likelihood we could we could go back up to overbought area soon. Heading into the next couple of weeks potentially. All right, bonus, bonus time. We got two quick little pictures, information points for you. If we go to fintel.io, here's the link. You can check it out yourself. It is on their website right now. We got the AMC Entertainment Holding Inc. market date. So starting from the 25th going upwards, until the fifth. Here is the short volume ratio for each of those days. And you can see that we had five back here a few weeks ago, 11, 17. Now we're hitting 25, 27, 27, 30. So on the fourth, it had 27 short volume ratio. That means the total volume of the day that was short, 27.68%. The next day on the 5th, we have an increase to 30.23% short volume ratio. What that means is that technically there was more short volume going into Friday, the close of the week, than there was on Thursday. So the short volume seems to be increasing, guys. And some order books, crazy enough, seem to have got a miniature short squeeze going on on Friday um, after markets, after hours. So check these out in the highlighted yellow box at 1801. Uh, 1,000 shares were sold for a price of $16.50. Wow. The sale before that was not even seven dollars. We have another fill here for a thousand shares. So we'll see. We might be heading we might be heading that range soon. And I'm gonna keep you guys updated and be putting out a video every day this week. So make sure to subscribe. Have a great day.